How's it going there, YouTube? Well, I wanted to do a quick little video here on how to tell the difference between an 1828 and an 80 tractor. Now, a little backstory here, the 80s replaced the 1828s. That's 1937, 1828, and that was the very last year those tractors were produced. The 80s came out in 38. This is a 1941 model. So they're relatively close, but there's a few key differences that uh, some of you guys that aren't as sharp with Oliver and Cockshot tractors, you guys might not pick up on this, but they're actually not too bad to tell apart. So obviously, right off the hop, you can tell the 80's got a taller radiator tank. I know the hood's not on this one right now, but the hood comes down a little bit lower. So the 80, uh, 1820's got a lower radiator tank on it and a lower hood, smaller gas tank too. And 80 also has the casting for electric start. So there's a starter goes in here. Whereas the 1828s do not. So the, there's no casting in here. So the 1828 was never available electric start. Also, the 80s had a little bit more power. They had uh, a little bit bigger bore in them. I don't remember the exact number right now. Um, the 80s also have a four gear transmission versus the 1828s three speed. But that brings me to a very interesting point now when they first brought the 80s out in 1938 the radiator tanks still read cock shut or oliver heart par underneath like the 1828s have but they were the new style tank so i guess in the collector's world we call those an early 80 and those are highly highly sought after and they're very difficult to find and they only made them the first six months in 1938 because in about August, July kind of time, they dropped the heart part name from the tractors. So then they came out with this tank instead. So you got a early 1938 uh, Cockshut heart part, Oliver heart part 80. They're a very rare tractor. They're probably the rarest out of this kind of variation of tractors. Uh, the 80s also had a little bit different draw bar. Now mine's got an 1828 draw bar on it because they got rid of this spring down below. The 1828s had that spring, not the 80s. They change them, but of course they're interchangeable. So someone that's not so keen on the tractors wouldn't wouldn't be able to tell. So there's a few. Oh, the belt pulley is also different too. So the spokes in the 1820s are kind of inverted, whereas these are ex kind of a different offset. I'm not really sure what word to use there, but also the 80s have a different magneto on them, and they also had a different carburetor. Whereas, I'm not exactly sure the make of this one. It's a, oh, it's a Schiebler. Marble Schiebler carb on this one. And then the 1820's got an end sign on it. And the air breather is a little bit different. But, once you get past some of that, the manifolds are a bit different too. But there's a, there's a few key differences between these two tractors, but some people get them confused. Uh, I mean, it's really not that hard to do if you're unfamiliar with something like this, but that's why we may have YouTube videos. So anyway, if you guys like what you see, as always, please comment, rate, subscribe. Thanks for watching.